Hi folks, the Slovenia-France match continues at the World Cup and here is the situation, I believe it's actually up to date now so I'm showing you France because they have a, a nicer structure, everyone playing exactly one game as you can see they've lost 3 and 1-2 so Slovenia is in the lead but uh, France has uh, arguably the, the better matchups in the last 3 and can still and is probably favorite to still win this one 5-3 but uh, we have three chances to uh, get a draw at least and the first one is coming in a minute or so with uh, Alex playing against Sara and he's going to play his graduate filthy deck so they they are going to stand uh, start on time which uh, doesn't give us much time I'll just show you a brief look here at uh, the filthy deck 62 cards it's not uh, the version with bloody cups with nothing burns with march to the wall uh, first snow, nothing like that here. It's uh, quite constructive. Apart from we do not sows, it's um, yeah plays um, the in my opinion the worst Balon, but he can be pretty decent as we uh, found in testing. Uh, with renown, there is Victarion, who also uh, dominates challenges and has renown. The uh, Euron that doesn't, but he uh, has the intimidate possibly and some stand. And then uh, mostly uh, smaller characters and uh, single copies of the others. There's uh, Alanis as the restricted card here, or well, from this uh, pod anyway, that is uh, requires you to make a, a difficult cho choice in uh, Greyjoy. As far as plots, uh, Morgulis has the reset, uh, has some anti reset uh, stuff here, copper, so never going to realistically run out of cards, this to uh, brand the builders to search for the warships and uh, at the gates for recon, so it's all very constructive, nothing uh, uh, too surprising, and we all know what uh, the star crossing deck does, so bunch of characters, uh, the superior claims, uh, some extra renowned stuff here in Sarah's deck that maybe not everyone plays, and she's playing the Withering Cold opening, which not uh, everyone plays either. The rest of the plot's pretty typical. Has the Harris, but uh, yeah, if you're forced into the Harris, that means the uh, game didn't go as well as you hoped, because Stark Crossing usually wants to win in three rounds against Greyjoy. Can win in two against uh, uh, slow starters, but against Greyjoy, I think uh, yeah, getting on the verge of victory as quickly as possible and then closing it in three rounds is uh, pretty decent. Also has the crown here in case Morgulis is mistimed to uh, carry the characters through and then it's uh, yeah, quite difficult to stop it. So let's see if they have indeed started on time and they have. So here we are. Let's see if uh, Sarah gets the luck she needs. I can tell you in the testing games I played against her, always a superior claim in round one. But I bet uh, now that it's uh, an actual game that matters, things will be slightly different. That always seems to be the case. Ah, okay, Grey John is here, one of the key characters for uh, the Withering Cold opening. No fanatics to stop him. And Alex uh, gets uh, not very typical Greyjoy setup. Four cards, including Gates of the Moon, which helps both players. So he could play at the gates into Great Hall, which is um, then a lot of Econ. Or he could play Brand the Builder, we'll see. Mm, plays at the gates. Of course, Great Hall does kneel, so having this Gates of the Moon in play, I wonder if he might consider just uh, doing maybe a, an Iron Gate. Now Sara could go first or she could not. That's a slightly tricky choice. Usually you go second on the Withering Cold. See what the opponent needs and then you do as little as possible. Although with Grey John you could try to go first. Problem is now if Balon comes into play, he's a non kneeler and Euron has Intimidate. So those would be some mad cards. Then maybe um, 
and uh, there is uh, more and more so tricky northern armory potentially Alex also has two copies of Nightmares in his deck, so playing that on Grey John actually is quite tricky. Now, what will he need in terms of Econ? Okay, Eager Deckhands come in for free here all the time. They're not too impactful though. I guess it's a character that just does a free military which Stark has to address. It's a little bit awkward. That's why I was thinking maybe Sarah would try to go first. And he does need the Great Hall. Oof, Victorian in play immediately. Just the one warship, and if he uses it, it will remain net. But then you go brand the builders, right? Get more warships. You can carry him away, but he uh, at the moment is in a good spot. Stays with, uh, let's say, the Maester more and more, or with Kerwin. Ah, Sarah has passing now. That needs the faction card, which can remain net. Nothing really uses it apart from passing. And can spam characters here. Finds Daisy. He won't redoop, though. There is also in this deck uh, time for wolves into summer, so if you do have to marshal Daisy without protection, she dies and then you summer her back. It also works. I don't want too many characters because that means there's no events in hand. What you really need is uh, the um, I am no one. Uh, she's actually going to use the Great Hall to Marshal Daisy. And keeps one gold. I hope that's uh, I am no one playing that on uh, yeah, someone that can do two challenges like Sansa or Willa, maybe. I don't know. Means that. Uh, you can get cards for insight. Alex doesn't want to do a challenge. Yeah, so he's better in the late game for sure. We found that when crossing wasn't uh, fast enough. The Grey deck is stronger, so I guess he will try to defend as much as possible. Okay, probably no, I'm no one now. It, uh, looks like maybe it's uh, Wolf in the Night instead. No? Okay, then Sarah happy for two characters to be knelt. If she doesn't have any events, I wonder why she knelt uh, Hartry Grow here. Might be uh, bluffing as well. Yeah, Grejon and Daisy can do military successfully if there's no nightmares, but if there is nightmares, given that uh, Alex has uh, also used Filthy, he probably is not going to carry one goal through, right? So, I guess he will uh, try to ruin some plans. It looks like Sarah actually doesn't have much here. Just attacking with the suspicious fire there that uh, probably will require someone to defend. Guessing it would have gone a little differently if she had uh, genuinely had superior claim.
Now Grey John and the Bear Island Scout would be ten. They would require everything to kneel to be defended basically. What does she use Daisy? She does. Nightmares on Daisy. And then defend, that's uh, a possibility. Nightmares on Grey John. Neither, okay, so he stands and he's going to intimidate someone. I mean, Victorian can stand twice per round if you get the warships, so. Yeah, may as well. Slow start, no insight. Ah, and the uh, Victorian stands right now. To win dominance, that's uh, a little surprising. I guess if you get uh, the warships, better to spend one of his uh, triggers here, because it's, uh, the stand ability is limited to twice per uh, phase. But I wonder what... Uh, cards he has in hand, does he have more warships here? And what Sara could really use if that's the case is Mira Reed now to cancel Victarion's uh, or to blank Victarion. Blank uh, Fallen for, for the Econ and uh, Alex has Brand Builder. with the exact goal of uh, getting those ships, I think. And um, yes, so Greyjoy going first. And uh, we need that uh, Mira, I think. Every possibility of something else big coming in. Although can't play warsh many warships and the Balon or something like that. Yeah, the raiding longship is uh, annoying if you're going first, but uh, it's a reasonable plan for crossing to go second as long as there's no intimidate. Currently, we do not so, doesn't really uh, do that much either. And uh, remember, Victoria needs warships to kneel, of course, so can't uh, both kneel uh, the longship for its own ability and for Victorian's ability, you have to choose one or the other. Now what else is coming? Great Kraken. That's uh, a little more concerning, that's one you can freely kneel and uh, you can uh, refill the hand, so in the late game you have the burst of power as well, but uh, in the early game you uh, grab the cards. Looks like we won't get uh, Mira, unfortunately. We get a bunch of characters though, including stealth. Still one gold for Alex here, which uh, potentially is uh, nightmares, or it could be we do not so. And even though he's probably going to get Brand the Builder triggers, he wants more cards.
Mm. Yeah, difficult to defend this really. I mean, you could, but um, then the long ship might be used. And if you don't defend it, then Great Kraken will be used. And you get the Brand the Builder trigger. Fence with one, which at the moment is stopping unopposed. And Alex uh, spends the warship. I think Sarah probably predicted this, which uh, gives uh, Victorion just the one stand now. And I wonder what uh, Great Kraken will do. Hmm, starts gaining power. Oof, and pillaging the armory. That's unfortunate, that would have been a useful card for Sara. So no stealth on Victorion, which means probably he can be... He's not going to be there for uh, defending uh, power. Fortunately, with the crossing minus on the first challenge, yeah, you can't really win the military either with uh, Grage on stand. So Summer goes alone. I think Victorian probably might defend this and uh, take the renown on defense. Get the second brand the builder and then you're conceding the other challenges. Could stand him for dominance at the end as well, instead of getting the renown. Maiden's Bane. Puts him out of reserve, but he is about to lose. The intrigue challenge here. And is there a superior claim? And just starting Victorian. Crossing, power claim, superior claim. But not dominance, so it's going to be 6-4. And Alex has all the cards and has a save effect now. <laughs> Does he? Summer is in play, by the way, can't uh, do a time for us. Is there any panic now for... Uh, oof, this will probably be going. Is there any panic and... Uh, the possibility of Morgulis here. Does Sara want to play the crown? Actually, Crown stops uh, Orc Montriever, Master Kerwin, and the other Orc Montriever from leaving place. So you'd need to, um, if military was one, you'd need to choose one of the other two. But yeah, Alex has all the cards now.
mal. Ich weiß gar nicht, ob Pull der Trigger. Crown into Brand the Builder. So Alex will be grabbing more cards. And Sarah's anti reset is wasted, although she gets another round to find oops. Fortunately Alex wins initiative. Three ships in play. Is he getting any more? I don't want to see Euron or Balon here. <laughs> Euron. And does he have silence? And the board is so wide that it's difficult for Euron to intimidate everything, really. You can play a Maiden's Bane. If he likes that, that we know is in hand. And if you marshal too much, you are also slightly exposed to the Harris, because Sarah might need to play a, a defense to Harris at some point against Morgulis. Mm, gets another raiding longship. So going first stops. Oh, Basically, the opponent opposing and going second, just used for uh, Victorian. Do for him. Kervin's ability is there. Slightly running out of cards now, so. Mm. And gets a Blood Raven, so he will know if uh, the Harris is about to be played. Then he can play Return to the Fields, right? Come on, let's get an Aria with the dupe. Hmm, okay, that gives Sans a renown. Okay, no gold for we do not sow this round, so Gravind is uh, here to stay. Sarah spends all the gold again, so she didn't get any of those um, I am no ones that uh, can be used to refill the hand a little bit. Puts it on Daisy, which means Daisy can defend without uh, the threat of a raiding longship. Doesn't work on characters uh, with attachments. Yeah, I was going to say Greywind can cancel Kervin in the blood phase. So if you uh, play Magulis, Victarion is safe, uh, but uh, Bran is there to cancel Reason and uh, Greywind is there to cancel Kervin, so it's a little difficult now to uh, properly reset. But I don't think Alex at this point plans to. He might just um, try to get as much power as possible. Those uh, long ships make it. Uh, yeah, give you a much better chance to get unopposed and Victorian has all the ships he needs now to get renown. It's a safe body as well. Euron gets uh, intimidated and if uh, he stands with Maiden's Bane that's uh, not very nice. So what we need here is for uh, some of the board to survive 
uh, to do challenges back. Can he intimidate Daisy before she can properly defend the other challenges? Hmm. Okay. So there's two warships, which means you basically need to defend with three characters to stop this uh, being unopposed. Spends most of the intrigue icons, if you do that. And that's exactly what she does. Now, uh, Alex can sti still win if he likes. He is willing to spend uh, the warships. At least one, although that if you use it on Sansa then it's 4-4 four, four and there's no Intimidate. And also need to spend uh, an Iron Fleet Scout perhaps. Maybe Intimidate Jojen who has stealth. No initiative boost actually here for Alex. Usually there's a silence in refurbished Hulk and something that uh, lets you win initiative in, even on Morgulis, but uh, you wouldn't on this occasion. Okay, so currently it's 4-4. Four, four. Six for and there's the silence. So now we might be thinking about uh, possibly. Oof, loses Arya. That's uh, not good. Might be thinking about uh, possibly playing to Harris. Alex doesn't have any more uh, Iron Gates, so he's, he can grab non-characters now. Although if you play to Harris, is he willing to maybe part with all the big uh, all the big ones and just keep uh, the little ones? That's probably not a good idea, right? It's not being against the Stark board then. Guessing he would. Uh, Either keep Victarion or he would keep Euron with Kerwin uh, and uh, an Orkman Reaver or something. Okay, now more Intimidate. I mean, again, the same situation if you want to really defend, you can with Daisy, but you need other characters as well that survive uh, the longship and the Iron Fleet Scout. Then you're not doing your crossing stuff. Okay, puts two of them in. That means it will be opposed unless uh, there's something I'm not uh, seeing.
Ah, okay. Summer escapes the board. So he can come back if uh, Alex plans to play Morgulis and grab uh, an area. He can come and grab an area even uh, without a Morgulis situation. Okay, he was still standing though, Summer, so that's slightly unfortunate. Okay, passing probably now with a slightly emptier hand doesn't matter that much. And military still left. Slightly awkward because uh, of the crown. It will require Sarah to claim someone. Someone other than the uh, Bear Island scouts, I mean. He can stand once more, right? The action that Zara cancelled was the the renown, I think. Doesn't say in the log. Now Daisy cannot defend this successfully because of the Iron Fleet Scout, so I'm thinking maybe Victorian wins this one. Claim uh, Sansa and Summer brings her back potentially. Now what does Great Kraken do? Also does he use the warship to gain renown? Hmm. Ah, Sept not taken for claim, interesting. Okay, so Krajan goes for military. That one can be opposed if Victorian wants it. I think difficult to, to keep uh, track of everything. Just one cancel as well. If that was for the stand, yeah, so he does have another stand. Actually, Sarah can get crossing on the Intrigue now even. Can she? Well, it depends if uh, the Scout is used. And it is, okay. To give him Renown, presumably. So, it's not there now for uh, 
boosting more and more, which means uh, Sarah can win power with Daisy. She can win by five as well because uh, she has uh, stealth. Well, it's eight three anyway, right? But uh, if if the last card is somehow superior claim, which uh, I doubt it, but it's a possibility. She can win that, and then Villa can win on the crossing challenge with the Intrigue instead. Just a bit over 20 minutes left. Time is not an issue here, really. Ah, she goes uh, Intrigue first. Well, I don't think that's a good plan, because now two characters will defend and then Blood Raven even has insight, right? Doesn't. Ooh, gets a reason. So there was one. That's a good pull. Now it's looking increasingly unlikely that Rx can consider Morgulis in this game. I mean, he has the, the cards to try to win without it. That's the thing, and he wins initiative with uh, with Take Vesteros. But uh, he's going to lose this power challenge with um, the crossing trigger as well. And Renown on Daisy. So it's going to be 8-8. Eight, eight. See, begging brother and uh, wolf in the night. <laughs> okay, Sarah doesn't care for that. Now she knows there's two non-characters. I think in in hand, silence and uh, what was it? Uh, another scout. So okay, Arx is going to check. So if he if he sees the Harris, he's going to play return. And he can sack some characters. Draw three more cards. He has the Econ. And if Sarah plays uh, a Winter Festival or a, a Palace of Sorrows, yeah. That's uh, not great because uh, he can play with Equestra's win initiative and he has. Victarion with Renown and Euron with Intimidate and Silence will come in, so... I suspect the Harris might be played. Only uh, around four, so... <laughs> They did take a lot of time, but they do have it. They should be able to. Hmm. Alex has to go first. He was going to go first anyway. So he needs to draw characters, first of all. Sarah will get a character for sure, because she has Summer in hand. So Only 5 gold though. So Summer can grab uh, Arya, which is not quite enough. It's something else. Hmm. 
Sacrifice as Euron, even though Siren Silence was available, prefers to keep Victarion. Now has he drawn characters? Has all the icon he wants. So if he's drawn, let's say a Balon, then uh, I think he can win this game. Victarion and Orkborn Trever, who currently doesn't have start, and what does uh, Sarah keep? So she wants to keep Daisy. Mm, she can keep uh, what? Keep all the two costers, for instance. She can keep Sansa, Jane Poole, and Villa Manderley or something, although I don't know. Greyjoy is duped, but I don't think we'll get two Morgulis in this game. Jojen has stealth, but again, it's tricky. Yeah, I think that's the uh, best you could do. Says goodbye to Grey John. Let's see if anything useful was drawn. Maybe get Alanis or something. I always in testing when I have to play Alanis to dig for more cards. That's a, always a bad sign. Hope he doesn't have a Balon or a Euron here. And no intrigue icons would uh, be quite beneficial as well. Hmm. Okay, it's going to cancel. Grey Wind. the begging brother. That's going to cancel Summer as well. That's unfortunate. Yeah, found the cards he needed. <laughs> and uh, Gregos, yeah, basically uh, didn't have that many characters, but it's uh, kind of the perfect uh, cards. So, gets the Grey Wind. Uh, cancel gets the cancel for summer uh, more warships yeah i think that could be done here unfortunately Well, Caitlyn's not the worst thing. Problem is stopping Alex from getting from 8 to 15 here. It's going to get unopposed with Great Kraken and Victorian's Renown. Sarah keeps the gold. I 
they seek an oppose because uh, oh okay great goes steals on her of course I mean, Bear Island Scout will have to be claimed, right? So we can uh, defend with it and use uh, force the warship to be used, but I think, okay. So it's probably losing uh, some concentration at this point. Caitlyn can go in, in the other challenges, the problem is Victorian can get Renown in the first action window here. Yeah, that's uh, going to stop one unopposed, up to 13, but what do you do with uh, the intrigue? I don't think you can stop it now. So the two raiding longships and uh, Great Kraken trigger. Wasn't that close in the end, to be fair, we knew that uh, Greyjoy Fealty is just stronger in the late game, you have to be closer to winning early on, just uh, no, I am no one when uh, Sarah badly needed it, unfortunately, to uh, get more cards, but uh, yeah, even getting cards, I mean, we had the super wide board and uh, just Greyjoy's board at some point becomes stronger and uh, nothing you can really do. So, friend survives, it's 3-3. Uh, and we have uh, two more games remaining. Unfortunately, they, they are against us. So uh, um, we had some chance here simply because uh, Sara is uh, a top player and uh, this matchup is more playable than the others. But um, we'll see. Let's uh, not give up. Um, yeah, that's uh, basically all we had for you for this one so hopefully you'll join us uh, for the remainder and we'll see uh, I'm playing last so I might not be able to record my game um, but uh, maybe we get uh, game 7 recorded uh, for you see how that goes so uh, thank you for joining me and uh, see you next time